so welcome you all today we will see how to use the analysis and component system which is available in ansys workbench so first of all start with your workbench in search box enter workbench so what depending on whichever the version you have installed you will see the ansys 2022 release 1 or if you are having 2021 release 2 so accordingly that will be visible so first of all what we are going to open is the workbench window so once the workbench window is open you will see analysis system and second one it is a component system so what is analysis system so analysis system is a useful when we are doing the entire analysis so just one there are various options which are available when it is fluid flow fluent then uh, one commonly used that is static structural and another is commonly used that is transient thermal so what happens in that i will just click on this fluent so you will see geometry mesh setup solution and result so when you select the analysis system entire thing will be available like geometry mesh setup solution and result so all these things will be available in a single window now when i go with the component system i will not have to use the individual component like geometry say for example here so here you are able to see only geometry part there is no mesh part no setup solution and result so when you select a component system it will be the individual system which will be which we are going to use so can we connect the individual component system to make an analysis system yes so i can connect the individual component system like here so i have set connection between them geometry mesh so if i want a fluent say for example here i connect with respect to this so what i had done is i have given connections between b c and d so these are my individual component system so i can do the analysis with the help of individual component system also or i can go with the analysis system also so what is the difference when we are uh, using this a difference will be in the form of mesh Say for example, if you are doing the fluid flow fluent in mesh, if you are selecting as a component system, here you have to definitely need to specify a CFD if you are going for the fluent. So this is a few things that need to be remembered when you are solving with the help of individual component system or if you are going with the, uh, we can say, the analysis system. So I will just try to prepare a geometry with the help of, there are two options available. When it is face claim, second one it is a design modeler, or if somebody wants to import the geometry, the third option is also available. So depending on uh, wherever you are familiar with, accordingly you can select your geometry tool. So I selected here as a design modeler. So once the design modeler is open, okay. So once the design modeler window is open, you will see the three x y and z x is red y is green and z is your blue so before proceeding you have to set the units so whatever the units you are interested in accordingly you should select so various options are available accordingly you can go with then click on any one of the plane so once you click on any one of the plane you will see again red green and blue so red here it is your x green here it is your y and blue here it is your z then uh, there are various options available uh, i will go with the create option so here extrude revolve sweep skin loft so extrude basically use when you want to transform 2d geometry into a 3d one so in that case the extrude will be available useful then revolve say sometime if you have created a circle and you want to have uh, we can say a complete ring over there so this can be prepared with the help of revolve command sweep operation can be used to prepare spring arrangement then skin loft say for example at the front you have a circle and at the back you have a square portion so you can use the skin loft operation to join these two faces a circle can be joined with the uh, we can say square like that so in this case the skin loft operation can be used then we have some primitive option spear box parallelepiped cylinder cone prism pyramid torus and band so these are a few basic shapes available i just click on the cylinder now there are two things one it is origin definition and second one it is the axis definition 
so what about origin definition say if i want to shift the object from the origin so in that case i can make use of the origin definition say for example if i specify 20 just see this wire where this wireframe model goes so this wireframe model shifted from the origin so this is how the origin definition is so if you want to shift the object in the respective direction you can specify either in x y and z over here and you can shift your origin so i will again make it this as a zero now right now the object is oriented in z direction so if i don't want the object to be oriented in z direction i want this to be in y direction you can make the z component zero so now you can see your object is oriented in the respective y direction similarly you can make this as a in the x direction also now here one more option is there that is add material you can make it frozen so as to have a better visualization for your object another thing you have some sketching option available so like line tangent line, line by two tangent polyline polygon rectangle so these are also the various options available so if you want to prepare a sketch and from that sketch if you want to transform this geometry into 3d one so in that case the sketching tools can also be utilized then we have surface concept lines from points lines from sketches so in some cases you have prepared the sketch and if you want to transform the sketch into space or if you want to transform this uh, we can say face further to the 3d geometry so these are the various options which are available to uh, be used now next thing is uh, various things which is available uh, especially i am going to discuss about the fluid flow fluid say for example if you have prepared the hollow pipe and in that case if you want to specify the fluid zone so the cavity of the fluid pipe can be specified with the help of this field operation which is available so these are a few options which are useful as far as the ANSYS design models are been concerned over here so i have prepared the geometry you can see in front of geometry it is right click now i can click on your individual mesh component so what will happen a mesh will be generated over here a mesh meshing tool will open and there we have to generate the mesh right now you are not able to see any symbol over there but once we generate mesh you will see in front of mesh also right click now when the mesh is open by default as we have selected a component system so this will the computer will take it mechanical but if you are interested in cfd analysis you must change this to the cfd so i have generate now mesh so according to cfd analysis the computer has generated the mesh you make it update then you will see a fluent translation uh, mesh translation to fluent successful so if you see this message in that case you will see in front of mesh it is right click then the last part which goes to the setup applying the boundary condition that may be in terms of velocity that may be in terms of the temperature applied at one end of the boundary so accordingly uh, we can say setup and solution can be done so analysis system and component system they are quite same just thing is you have to you will be having individual component and you need to obtain a relation or you need to drag the relation between them just by selecting the respective component so in this way you can either go with the analysis system by default or you have to, can go with the individual component system if you are going with the by default analysis system in that case the way i have changed this to cfd so this you will not have to do, do it will come automatically so computer will detect automatically so this is one thing which is related to the fluid flow analysis now what happens in static structural analysis i will just try to show you one window over here so this is one geometry model setup solution and result so what happens as geometry is quite similar to the earlier one so we'll prepare a geometry over here then model what happens there are three things which are available you are either preparing the geometry uh, sorry in model what we are preparing the mesh after preparing the mesh you are uh, we can say having certain boundary condition that may be in terms of fixed support that may be in terms of the forces which you are applying so that will come under the setup then what comes under solution in solution whatever the things you want to uh, we say visualize say for example i want to visualize stress i want to visualize transformation a total deformation so that can be say, uh, specified in your solution and what to be done in the result in result we are visualizing the things which we have specified in the solution so this is how the static structural analysis part is there i will just try to prepare one more geometry so that you will uh, go on to understand the same part 
here. Say for example, first thing will be selection of units. Click on any one of the plane. I can take a primitive like here as a cylinder again. So this is a cylinder which has been prepared. I will keep it as it is and make it generate. So this is a cylinder which has prepared. Now I will go to the next part that is related to your model. So what is available in model so that we are going to see. A new window will open. So this is a new window which we are having uh, which corresponds to our static structural analysis. Okay, just wait for the window to load. Okay, now you can see mesh option, you can generate a default mesh. So here we are keeping mechanical as it is, we are not changing that. Then static structural, you are going to see uh, what you want to apply. Say for example, I want to apply force, I want to apply fixed support. So these things can be done here. Then what to be done in solution? In solution, say I want to visualize deformation, I want to visualize stress, I want to visualize strain. So all these things can be, uh, we can say specified over here as a solution. So this is quite thing easy thing. Um, here model, we have many things involved. One it is generating the mesh, second one applying the fixed support or applying the the forces so this is done over here and then what you want to visualize is that can be available as a stress strain and energy so this is the second portion which is we are uh, having that is a stru structural the way we have done here like we have selected individual component system same way in case of static structural analysis also individual component system can be selected and you can have relation between them and the individual component system next one is a transient thermal which is again a quite commonly used tool again in transient thermal and if you see a quite similar trade is between a static structural and a transient thermal so what differences will having uh, we say again here also we are going to make uh, prepare the geometry I will just try to prepare one basic geometry over here I will close all other geometries so that Okay, so this is a new window has opened for a transient thermal you can see here so first of all you have to click the units so whatever you want centimeter millimeters and other thing I will generate one more time as a cylinder so this is a cylinder which has been generated I will keep it as it is a default option so that I will show you the next part now next thing is model so what is in the model I will just uh, there are similarities like what we are observing in static structural only things the parameters that we are going to apply that will go on to differ in case of your transient thermal so i will close this okay so this is our window that has been open for transient thermal so quite similarities are there only things will go on to change like here in earlier case, in case of static structural, we are applying forces, we are applying stress. Now here we are going to apply temperature, we are going to apply heat flux. So mesh was seen, what we are observing in the earlier case. Uh, only thing in transient thermal, we are applying temperatures, we are applying heat flux and heat generation like this. Again solution, what you want to visualize, I want to visualize temperature, I want to visualize heat flux and all these things. So this is the thing which are going to be available in case of your transient thermal so quite similar it is are there so what again in case of model we are going to do three things one it is we are going to generate mesh second thing we are going to apply certain boundary conditions and third thing we are going to uh, we are going to have solution means uh, we are defining what you want to visualize in the result and lastly when you perform the iterations when you perform the calculations or you are running the uh, we can say iterations in that situation you will see the last part that is related to your result so this is how the various things how to transform the analysis system or how to use individual component system and transform into a analysis system so same way which we are done here it can be done for static structure it can be done for